Rogue's Gallery. Rogue's Gallery came to the Mutual Network on September 27, 1945, with Dick Powell portraying Richard Rogue, a private detective who invariably ended up getting knocked out each week and spending his dream time in acerbic conversation with his subconscious self, Ugor. Rogue's Gallery was, in a sense, Dick Powell's rehearsal for Richard Diamond. Powell played private detective Richard Rogue, who trailed luscious blondes, protected witnesses, and did whatever else detectives do to make a living. It was a good series, though not destined to make much of a mark. Under the capable direction of D. Engelbach, and accompanied by the music of Leith Stevens, Powell floated through his lines with the help of such competence as Lou Merrill, Gerald Moore, Gloria Blondell, Tony Barrett, and Loreen Tuttle. Peter Leeds played Rogue's friend Ugor, an obscure play on names with Ugor spelling Rogue backwards. The gimmick in Rogue's gallery was the presence of an alter ego, Ugor who arrived in the middle of the show to give Rogue enough information for his final deduction. Ugor was a state of mind achieved when Rogue was knocked unconscious. Ugor would appear cackling like the host of Hermit's Cave and imparted some vital information the hero had overlooked. Rogue would then awaken with a vague idea of what to do next. In later incarnations of the series, different actors portrayed Rogue, but Richard Powell was the most popular. This series preceded Richard Powell's most famous series, Richard Diamond. Rogue trailed lovely blondes and protected witnesses in the new tough guy persona of Dick Powell. This was the transition series for Powell in his quest to be recognized as an actor rather than a singer. It had some of the same cute elements that would make Richard Diamond a high spot four years later. During the summer of 1946, the show was billed as Bandwagon Mysteries. In the summer of 1947, it was revived on NBC with Barry Sullivan in the title role. In 1950, the character again turned up in a two-year sustainer on ABC with Chester Morris playing the lead. Chester Morris was the original Boston Blackie. Information for this audio clip came from your audio series descriptions moderator, Roger Hohenbrink. This audio clip is provided by the Old Time Radio Researchers Group, a group of volunteers dedicated to preserving radio's past. I'm your announcer, Doug Hopkinson.